To understand the point of this theory, we'll have to study Luffy first. Since the beginning of his adventure we see how Luffy always faces very strong pirates. Crocodile was no joke, if not for his stupid weakness, water, without hockey Luffy was toast. Luffy is a battle genius because he fought strong opponents. Evident in his fight with Katakori, where Luffy out-endured Katakori is a testament to how far Luffy has come because he keeps on taking stronger opponents. Luffy is brute force combined with experience. His devil fruit literally complements a fighter-type pirate. That doesn't mean he could have always did it before, e.g. He went all out against Aokiji. Got ROFL stomped. Magellan brought Luffy to his knees in the most painful way. Luffy also faced the strongest creature in the world and was brutally defeated in one hit. When Luffy will become the strongest pirate and will be introduced how Kaido was introduced, I'm pretty sure it will sound something like captured 10 times, defeated 20 times, and so on. So coming to Kaido. We saw his introduction in a way that made me feel I'm watching future Luffy, especially after narrator said, he challenged four emperors single-handedly. This is some next-level stupid that only Luffy could do. This implies Kaido was stupid, reckless and always fighting stronger opponents. The reason for Kaido's strength could be as simple as, he fought against stronger opponents just like Luffy is doing right now. Asterisk theory by Joe K. Kerr